But looking at the youth in Nigeria, before I go into what I'm going to say, one may ask, in 2022 budget that has just been prepared and signed into law, was the Youth Council consulted? Were your problems enumerated? Was any registered youth body ever consulted before proliferation, before preparation of budgets? Were you called by any ministry? Were you invited by any any part or arm of government? No. no. With this simple answer, it shows that in any given society or government, wherever it is, and no matter how clean and accepted it is by the society, it shows that there is very poor strategic investment into the future of that country, true to its unity, development, and preparation of the younger ones for leadership tomorrow. This negligence is unacceptable. And if the youth are realized that they are left behind and they refuse to act according to the law, calling on to the attention of the elders, institutions, and leaders, all arms of government, the youth and the leadership are one and the same, flowing on the wrong direction. Right now, that is to say, there is not a single youth association in Nigeria that can boast of having the feelings of being called for, or called upon, or being cared for, or knowing what the budget is all about. And I'm sure so it was, at least from 1999 to date, I'm not aware of any association that was called to prepare for budget, at least to consider issues that used to push young ones, the youth, into numerous setbacks that affect the country's future.